Hi friends, today our topic is some problems on memory allocation algorithm which was already asked in gate or some competitive exam. According to this, one problem we have taken here, that problem is we have the request of some process which wants to enter to the memory and process is coming continuously. First process which we have to accommodate in memory is size of 2, 1, 2, second process, third process and fourth process of 4, 2, 6, K. This is memory, same memory we have drawn three times for accommodating first fit, best fit and worst fit. So, first we should consider this process and this available memory. See the memory map in that this portion is occupied, this portion is occupied by some processes which we have marked as purple. This is the free memory available to accommodate those processes. What is the process size 212? First we will discuss first fit. This first fit to worst fit was already discussed in previous algorithms. So previous our previous videos where we have discussed memory allocation algorithm. So today directly we started with the problems. First request is coming for 212k process. This is a request of 212k process. So according to first fit what we have to do? We have to allocate the first hole that is big enough. So which is the first hole that is big enough to accommodate 212k process? Obviously 500k. Clear because in 100k we cannot accommodate 212k. So 500k memory we should take. So if we put here 1212k process, 212k process, what will be my left out memory? That is 500 minus 212. If we subtract 212 from 500, we get 288. So the left out space will be 288k. 288k space is called hole not partition. What is the meaning of hole? This was the memory partition available. We have accommodated a, it accommodated a process of 212k. So whatever will be the left out space that will be considered as hole. Okay, not the partition. This is partition and this is whole after accommodating a process. So, this size is nothing but 288 which is nothing but 500 minus 21, 500 minus 212. Okay, so now next process is arriving. What is the size of the next process? 417. So, what is the first memory space available for uh, accommodating 417? Not 200, not 300, 600. So we will put 417 process in this hole and obviously left out space will be, left out space will be 600 minus 417 that is 183. So this size will be 183. This is also another hole formed. Okay, now next 112k process is coming. So which is the first left out space for accommodating 112 this is 288 hole so i can accommodate here my 112k process so what will be my left out hole size it will be nothing but 288 minus 112 so this will be 176 for space problem i'm not writing so this space size what uh, will be the whole size left out from the first partition will be 176k so this is nothing but 176k. Now 4 to 6. What about 4 to 6? Can I accommodate it here, here, here or here? No, I cannot accommodate. So I cannot accommodate 4 to 6 according to the first fit algorithm. What is best fit? Best fit is nothing but allocate the smallest hole that is big enough. So let us follow the same memory diagram for considering best fit for considering best fit so smallest memory for accommodating 212 is which one obviously not 100 500 is more than this so we will consider 200 is not possible so we'll consider 300 and we will accommodate 21 
टू सो लेफ्ट आउट स्पेस आई एम नॉट सब्ट्रैक्टिंग बिकॉज ऑफ टाइम प्रॉब्लम एंड कीपिंग सो दिस विल बी द लेफ्ट ओवर होल एंड साइज विल बी ऑब्वियसली थ्री हंड्रेड माइनस टू वन टू नाउ फोर वन सिक्स फिच इज द बेस्ट फिट फॉर फोर वन सिक्स फोर वन सेवन दैट इज ऑब्वियसली सी टू आर देयर वन इज फाइव हंड्रेड एंड सिक्स हंड्रेड बेस्ट फिट मीन्स यू हैव टू एकोमोडेट इट वेर इट इज smallest hole that is big enough for that so in between 500 and 600 i'll choose 500 so i will accommodate 416k request 417k request in the hole of 500 okay according to best fit now 112 which is the next for finding out the best fit proper partition we have to find out which partition value is just bigger than 112 that is nothing but smallest enough to accommodate this request so 112 just biggest one will be 200 so we will accommodate 112 here left out will be the whole according to dynamic memory allocation we have to remember that we can accommodate any incoming process in the left over whole also how we did in the case of first comes first serve not that we have to find out a complete partition if the process is capable enough to store in a hole will give preference for hole also rather than giving part preference on partition okay let us come back so 4 to 6 so we have obviously the left out one that is 600 which is capable enough to store so 4 to 6 we will accommodate in the last hole so 4 to 6 left out space will be 600 minus 4 to 6 now worst fit according to worst fit we will allocate the largest hole first whatever is the process size whichever is the largest hole that will accommodate for 212 so what will happen for worst fit for 212 or for any largest hole is 600 so 212 should be kept here remaining this this will be the hole okay now 417 obviously one only one is left out to accommodate this 500 so no more choice so we will accommodate 417 here now when 112 comes we have the biggest hole available here is 200 and 300 among the 300 is the biggest one so 112 we will accommodate left out will be the hole in that partition so over 426 see here we don't have we have only left out here 500 minus 417 obviously this is a very small portion so we cannot accommodate a 4 to 6 process nor in 100 200 or left out space of this so we cannot accommodate the process 4 to 6 so this kind of so here it is worst fit this is worst fit hope you all have understood if you like this please subscribe to my john channel and click on the subscription option thank you so much